Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So, today is April 24th, 2020, and uh, what I want to talk about today is a Martha Washington geranium. Now, these are also known as regal geraniums, and uh, they are perennials in some areas. They can be perennial. They have beautiful blooms on them. They come in many different colors. And um, this plant here is about three or four years old, I believe. And um, I did get it to bloom again. Um, this plant does benefit from a bloom boost, a 15-30-15 bloom boost. I'll have a link down in the description for the bloom boost that I use for these. Now, um, I don't mix my plant food full strength when I feed this particular plant. Um, any of my plants growing in containers or hanging baskets, I always mix the plant food half strength for uh, what they recommend. And uh, you want to keep your soil moist on this. You don't want it soggy. Um, you can let it dry out just a little bit and uh, then go ahead and give it some... Uh, some water there. You don't want to let it get too dry, but you don't want to keep it too wet because it is a geranium. Uh, one of the biggest things with geraniums is overwatering them. So uh, you don't want to overwater it. It does have some different foliage on it than your normal uh, zonal geraniums have. But uh, it's a beautiful plant. You can find it in hanging baskets. Um, they do usually really big hanging baskets of them. And uh, you can also find them in containers where uh, they'll have like the containers of them. You can usually find these uh, around the time of like Mother's Day. Um, very beautiful plants. Now as for sunshine, um, I don't recommend you put them out in full sun. Uh, I do recommend a little bit of shade for them. We usually grow them on the back porch where they get afternoon sun and uh, morning shade and uh, it bakes it pretty good on the porch over there but um, they seem to do well with it as long as you know you keep checking them for their water and uh, they can be susceptible to what they call rust which um, that will be like uh, orange spots on the leaves you can use a fungicide for that if you choose to If they get too much sun, it can do some discoloration to the leaves, from what I've seen. But um, it's a beautiful plant. Um, I had gotten this one for my mom for Mother's Day, and uh, she absolutely loved it. So uh, I overwintered it, and um, just I fed it with the Bloom Boost to uh, get it to bloom again. Um, if you can overwinter this inside. But um, about, I would say, maybe two months before you're going to take it outside, go ahead and start feeding it. Um, if it's blooming inside, you can feed it, but uh, you don't want to overfeed it. And you do want to remove the spent blossoms from it and deadhead it so that it continues to bloom for you. And these can get really big and um, they can make really nice specimens now uh, the wind blows really hard it can break the stems because they get so heavy so that is something you want to watch out for if you have a high wind area which um, we have had some of them break already or the wind blew that hard that it smacked the basket into the porch posts and it broke some of them off So it is something you have to watch out for with the stems snapping or breaking when the plants get very large. Um, you can prune these to control the size, but um, it will delay your blooming. But um, when it does bloom then, it's going to have more blooms and blossoms on it. You're going to have a more compact plant, and uh, which is going to yield more blooms. Now you can see back here... These blooms here are just starting to come. When the blooms are spent, they'll lose all of their petals. And it's just going to be like an empty shell there. So um, you'll want to remove 
the uh, stems of those so that your plant continues to keep blooming. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the little notification button. I'll tell you when I put a new video on. You can also follow me on Twitter. I'll have a link down in the description for my Twitter account. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day. Bye.